I don't know if you've seen The Joker starring Joaquin Phoenix, but you definitely should. It's a dark story about a tragic clown. Phoenix lost 55 pounds for this role, and his gaunt appearance really highlights the problems with his posture. So as you can imagine, I was transfixed with his posture all through the film. Then I spent a couple hours going through Google Images, and I think I figured it out. When I found this image of a young Joaquin, his sunken chest led to a possible diagnosis of pectus excavatum. In children who have pectus excavatum or abnormal growth of the sternum and ribs, you see this inward sunken appearance in the chest and often a hunched forward posture and flared ribs. So this is possible. The second possible diagnosis is spinal scoliosis or curvature of the spine. With scoliosis, you often see uneven shoulders, one shoulder blade that appears more obvious than the other, and uneven hips. Here you definitely see the asymmetry in his hips, but no obvious shoulder difference. And his spine really appears quite straight on the right. So scoliosis is perhaps less likely. Finally, the third and I believe most likely diagnosis is a congenital condition called Sprengel's deformity. Now, Sprengel's is a rare condition present from birth, and the shoulder blade or scapula is too high on one side of the body, which is pretty obvious here on Phoenix's left side. Signs and symptoms of this deformity include a limited range of motion in the arm and the shoulder blade on the affected side, as well as the neck. You can see how his shoulder mobility may be limited here. He holds his left shoulder and arm with internal rotation, and that's why you see the palm is facing down. Sprengel's deformity is associated with a condition called Klippelfile syndrome in 75% of cases. This is where at least two of the vertebra in the neck fuse together. Now, we wouldn't know that without an x-ray. Now this is interesting, other skeletal abnormalities of Sprengel's includes oddly shaped vertebra, rib abnormalities, which seem obvious on Phoenix and the Joker, and interestingly, other malformations of the ear, nose, and mouth, including cleft palate, which might explain the scar on his upper lip here. Treatment options for Sprengel's deformity includes a physical exam and chest x-ray and probably neck x-rays. The main treatment is surgery during childhood, but really only for severe deformity that really restricts shoulder mobility. And when you see the Joker, you'll know that definitely isn't the case for Phoenix when you watch this beautifully improvised dance scene. And I'll leave a link to this scene in the description below. If you want to see more images and details of each possible diagnosis, please check out the full blog in the description link below. Thanks so much for watching.